Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for Stream For Us, and I have been asked in vMix, how is there a quick way that we can take an input and zoom to regions of interest and, and do it in a way that doesn't take creation of multiple inputs and merging between them and things like that. There is a way to do that. It's virtual sets. So let me show you how to do that. I have a project set up here and it's an existing project. I just put myself into the virtual caller, the remote caller. This is their slide deck right here. I got a moving background and this is actually input 41. You can see all of this. If I go into here, you can see I've got all these layers. I've got the caller with a drop shadow. You see the soft drop shadow behind them. I've got the video blocks going in the background. I got the drop shadow. I got the bug for the client. This is their slide deck. So it's it's a pretty complex slide. We're going to close that. Now, normally you would think that if you need to go into a region of interest on the slide or another region of interest on the slide, you'd need to create a whole bunch of inputs. But that's not really the case. Come down here. And what you're going to do is you're going to open a virtual set. And then what I'm going to do is there's a blank one right here. I'm going to click on that. Okay. So now I've got this empty virtual set. I'm going to add a layer, multi view. I'm going to put in the bottom layer and that's 41. So let's scroll down to 41. There it is. And we're going to say done. Now already there's four presets in here. This wide one is perfectly fine. Let's right click on the first one. We can say this is the top left, maybe not zoomed in so much. Top left, click OK. Over here, this is the second one. This one's going to be the top right hand corner of the slide. We're going to click OK. This third one, you know what? We're going to want to zoom in a little bit. So let's zoom in and let's do, eh, maybe that's a little bit too much. We're going to zoom back out. Again, apologize for not being able to click the mouse very well because I'm trying to hold the phone and get it. So that's just the whole slide. I'm going to click OK, and then the fourth one is there. So now, let's put this in preview. We cut to it. So now blank is up here. And just by double-clicking these four positions, I'll double-click the top left. It's going to push into there. Double-click the top right. That's going to pan over to the right, pull out a little bit. Now you want to see the whole slide. And then back to the full screen. And that has fast, medium, and slow. So you can come over here and say, now I want medium. I'll go over to the top right. There it goes. And back out. Let's just say I want the whole slide, but you know what? I realize I want this to be the speaker. Ugh, not that close. Please, not that close. <laughs> so the close-up of the speaker. Let's just, for argument's sake, I'm going to go back out. So now we've got the full thing. Double click here. It goes into the speaker. They're talking very eloquently. And then we pull out to the full slide. And then we pull out to a two-shot. Ooh, look at this graphic in the upper right corner. Let's go back out. So you can do like a whole show right here. And then, like I said, click on this and quickly drag this to a different part of the graphic. Click OK and then double click it and it'll go down there. So it's very easy to adapt on the fly and make your show a little bit more interesting, even if it's just a person and a slide deck on the screen.